Kay, you cannot do this. Watch me. I can't wait to see the look on my mom's face when I convince her that David isn't her husband and that John isn't her son and that it was all a lie, all part of your sick plan. You have no proof that I used David to come between your parents. Once Daddy's on to you, he'll know where to look to find proof. David, stop her! No, how can I if she's made up her mind? Bind and gag her and keep her in your room at the B&B until she comes to her senses! Touch me and I'll scream bloody murder. You were making a really big mistake. The only mistake I made was not telling my parents the truth a long time ago. You tried, and no one believed you. Well, it'll be different this time. Okay, say it is. Say, hypothetically, that Sam and Grace believe you and reconcile. It's not going to change the way Grace treats you. She is still going to put everyone else before you, especially Charity. Now, if you keep quiet, David take Grace away, she won't be there to interfere. And you, you could win Miguel away from charity. Give it a rest, Ivy. I'm going to get my parents to believe the truth about you and David, no matter what you say. Okay, not that I am admitting any wrongdoing or anything like that, but what about if I, what if I give you my diamond necklace to keep quiet? Well, in that case... Forget it. There are more important things in life than jewels and money. I've got my soul to worry about. Okay, talk like that proves you are delusional. You pull your information, I don't think you have <sighs> Okay, okay. I thought you wanted your mother to suffer the way she had made you suffer. I did. Then what is the problem? I can't go on seeing my father hurt like this. He doesn't deserve it. Daddy hasn't done anything wrong. No, he hasn't. And, and look at the way your mother has treated him. She, she went off with David last spring, and then Grace called David her husband tonight on the bridge in front of Sam and, and half of Harmony. He deserves better. And you think that's you? Please. That's one more reason to tell everybody the truth. John. It's Kay. I need you to come to the house right away. You'll find out when you get here. <sighs> Jessica, can you meet me in Mom and Dad's living room? There's something you need to know. Damn it! This cannot be happening. We have come so close to getting everything we want. Grace could be yours and Sam could be mine. We can find a way to... Shut Kay up! All the months and months of hard work. All the planning. Making sure your background checked out. Planting the fake marriage license in Hartford. Even paying that man to pretend he was the priest that married you in Grace. Blackmailing Eve about John's DNA. All the bullets we dodged, all the lies we told. Get where we want. It's all going down the drain, just like that. If Sam believes Kay this time, I will lose any chance I ever had of winning him back, and you will lose Grace. We'll be reviled by everyone, David. Everyone. Even Ethan and John will hate us. Was something wrong? Kay called and said to come over right away. <sighs> you know, Kay. Drama queen. Uh, look, why didn't you go back to the bed and breakfast and uh, finish that essay? Oh, no. Over? No, David. No. John might as well stay and hear what Kay has to say. The more the merrier. had a frog in my throat. So, what is it you wanted to tell us? I hate to admit it, but sometimes charity is easier to live with, easier to love than Kay. Kay, we're waiting. I know you think I'm a horrible, selfish person, but I don't hold a stick to you, mother. 
Oh. You're a horrible, selfish bitch. Okay. Don't talk to your mother that way. Daddy, it's true. Mom's been keeping you and David in limbo, wondering who she's gonna stay with. Like she's a prize in the first place. Okay. I don't know how you've put up with her crap as long as you have. Any other man would have kicked her out on her indecisive ass by now. It would seem that Kay has decided not to accuse us of undermining her parents' marriage. I think it's time my selfish mother did the right thing and made a choice. Who's it gonna be? Who do you choose to spend the rest of your life with? Daddy? Or David?